Okay, welcome back everyone to another episode of Only Fiends with me, Karen Fian. Jared Schwartz is here once again. Thank you <laughs> for having me on. We have a very exciting guest today. That's why I'm speaking in a monotone. <laughs> yeah, well, get it up, please. <laughs> I'm upset. I miss my do- Ashley Hasseltine from Girls Gotta Eat is Yay! here today, you guys. It's I finally made it. I know. We I cornered to get you her. and said, when am I getting invited on the podcast? She I think it's because throat. you're too nice. Who? Well, I was just like, we had you on ours. When are you? <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to pay the fucking favor back? Meanwhile, Rain is like, am I just not invited at all? <laughs> You can't do both of you at once. It's too powerful. It's too much. There's it's, a lot of people in here. It's too powerful. Jared's chain a lot of is Jewish. just blinding. I know. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is this like um, from a cereal repetitive? box? <laughs> oh, like is, are you guys talking about it a lot? No, I just got. It. I think this last is week a was new one. Episode. Well, they keep getting bigger and cheaper looking. I mean, no, it's like hard to look at. Yeah, it looks like if McDonald's gave out like a Guido like kitty pack with like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're like Happy Meals. They're yeah. Like, this week you can be one of the Sopranos. <laughs> well, Jared, I mean, I, I don't really want to incorporate him too much in this. I know no. this is about me and you. Yeah. <laughs> but what is the jewelry decision? Because when I saw you at the. Uh, comedy festival after party. I think you had two earrings and a necklace. <laughs> no, no, just a, <laughs> and a bracelet. In. Yeah, he's a like uh, he's like our anklets cool. <laughs> <laughs> a toe <laughs> ring. I do got pretty nice ankles. <laughs> oh my god. So it's can just, you talk us through it? Do the it, decision that went into it. I was like, if people aren't going to notice me for my jokes, maybe they'll notice me for, <laughs> for my, my jewelry. jewelry. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's depressing. It's <laughs> pretty like, good joke. No, it's not like, though. It's not a joke. I think I think I think I worked hard this year. It's real. I, uh, Stop ending the, ju- the year the jewelry, before it ends. I hate how you real. do that. He's it's been doing that since October. <laughs> it's been a tough year. It's like you still have a couple months to like dig yourself out of this hole. I love the people. It's an excuse to not do anything. They're like, yeah. oh, what's the point? I mean, we've, I put in the work. The year's winding the year's, down, and so am I. It's <laughs> work. You should put something about the jewelry like in your bio. I was thinking last night, like, <laughs> should I? Should it's my fine. Instagram bio say like best camel toe in comedy? Yeah, it's becoming such a part of my brand. I love it for the alliteration. <laughs> that's and, what I, right. And I love it for yeah, what it is. It's, yeah, I definitely. You think should. That's a good idea. Like something with jewelry. I can't think of it right now. A little hungry, but oh, uh, he's like, I don't know. Claire's comedian. Thanks for noticing. You should get sponsored by. You should get sponsored by Claire's. <laughs> we just deck so him out. Are your ears pierced? Ear, ear. Just yeah. one earring. Yeah, it's been pierced. I just put an <laughs> earring in for the I first know. time in like five years. The rabbi did it after he circumcised him. So he's like, let me get this one, too. You were a baby with, like, an ear piercing? <laughs> yeah. Pre-K. Really? What's, yeah. Did you have, like, a lot of piercing? What's your piercing situation, Oh, Karen? I started getting more, like, holes in my ears. I got my nose pierced when I was in college. Okay. That was painful. Yeah. Um, I pierced my own. Did I tell you this? I pierced my own belly button. No, no, no. You didn't. When I, I was like eight. I can't believe you just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it it's so painful. Oh, oh, yeah. It was psycho. I got infected. I think I still have a little scar. I also just like meh. I didn't know what I was doing, so I like aimed for like yeah. This who si- would who knew who knows what they're doing? I mean, that's a crazy thing to try to attempt. I aimed for like the side lip, like the labia of my belly button. <laughs> side lip. Do you have a like? I might have a scar, so I don't know. I'm and then did you ever do it I'm for so, real? Oh, I'm so oh, bloated. Right? My shut up, Jared. You homosexual. You fucking. <laughs> Don't ever fucking speak to me in my home about my fucking body. I'll stab my you. My journey with, was <laughs> with belly button was my friend and I went the summer we turned 18. So a little okay. later. Yeah. And then the the day I turned 25. So like a couple summers ago, um, I <laughs> like took it out in the shower. Like that was my age of like, you can't have a belly button piercing uh, after 25. Was it emotional? You no. Like, I was you just like, like clean the crust off it. You're like never again. <laughs> I was like, I'm not trash anymore <laughs> you know? i'm a grown-up i'm a grown-up yeah but i it's still i would use it for a couple halloween costumes it's still it's can, can get it i can okay. still get it in there nice good for you yeah so if they come back i'll be good no, with, and i thought belly buttons were like starfish i thought they'd just grow right over that's good mine. that's great you I could be like i dream of genie <laughs> you can be all these different things yeah exactly you could be jared's ear <laughs> 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 that's what i was gonna go as <laughs> i'll be his nose <laughs> People would get it. <laughs> but I just can't. I used to be able to be his nose, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new nose now. 
That's right. You can't tell you've had a nose job, though. Well, I think that's good. The point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so funny because I, um, when we were at the party where Jared debuted his jewelry, right. you were there. Yes. But I thought he was selling it. Usama was like, he said, something, he was like, you look so good. I, wh- whatever. Here's the thing. He was just like, you look so good. He, I could tell that he couldn't figure out why. And I was like, I got a nose job. And he was like, no, that's not it. I'm like, no, I'm telling you. It's why. Like, I, I know why I look better. I'm just telling you so you don't have to try to figure it out. It's like, not my turtleneck. Yeah. You know, like, it's just because right. it. Stop studying my face like you're going to yeah, find something. But that's the best thing. The, that's the whole point of like, people are supposed to look at you and think you look better, but they're not be able, be able to they're figure, not it out. figure out why. Because the worst thing you want is somebody thinking, right. oh, you got a nose job. Your nose looks like a fake, crazy, like real housewife nose. I don't want to, you know, speak about anyone specifically. So I'm going to keep this very vague. Okay. But there is a certain comedian who even has jokes about how she's only gotten her breasts done. She's only gotten implants. I was like, oh, well, do they put them in your lips? <laughs> so those shits are fucking huge. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's how she gets around it. She's like, I've only gotten <laughs> implants. I'm not telling you where. <laughs> like, oh, so you, you just were born with rock hard tits? <laughs> you fucking liar. <laughs> right. Your lips are huge. But um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, just a bad, that's a bad job. You Wait, know? Did you just get this done? Uh, in March. But I only recently talked about Jared, it. Jared, don't worry. Really. I started a fund for you. I started a little a facelift fund for me oh. and a nose job fund for you. But that's guys just like it can rock a matter. big nose. It's so annoying. It's like, so annoying. You know? They can have no jawline. They can have no face and we'll fuck them. He, uh, yeah. I feel like I j- draw, <laughs> draw the line at the jawline. Like, I think I would. I love a jawline. I yeah, I don't know. There's I actually, been times where I'm like, wow, I don't even get a jawline tonight? Damn. I feel like that's where I kind of tap out. <laughs> like I can put up with a lot of other bad stuff, but like a guy that's just, it's going into his neck. I, I can't. It's though that one like happened like over time. Like I started out with a jawline and then I woke up one day and I was like, Oh, I don't have a jawline to date you? anymore. Not me, the guy. Oh yeah. 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 Like it disappeared. He and then they, 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 they do a beard and you're like, what's under there? I know. Yeah. This hot guy who's so hot. I think I showed you his picture. I showed you his picture. He's, we've been like on and out. Like we talked, we've been like, we hooked up years ago. Okay. He came to my show last night in Boston. Legit oh. blackout. Like, oh, no. so wasted. I, I was, like, taken aback. And I've seen, like, drunk people in my life, you know? Uh-huh. And I was, he's like, so what's going on here? Because he thought we were going to hook up. And I was like, you're wasted. Yeah. And he goes, no, no, nah. This is just how I am. <laughs> I was it's like, so oh unattractive. What an awful personality that. Especially somebody like me who like five jokes in my set are about how I don't drink. I have a tattoo mm. that says don't serve me on my yeah. arm. And you're like, I don't know what she'll like. <laughs> well, did you guys hook up when you used to get drunk? <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, thing. But like, go. we've been talking sober though, you know? Yeah. Who knows? You know, everything ver- like text wise is like sober sober sally yeah so this was just like let me show up and get blotto that's really so unattractive so disappointing and all the other comics are like that guy's so hot that guy's so hot i'm like yeah it doesn't matter yeah you can't do anything with him were you expecting to hook up and i mean like that's the I worst mean, I, I, if if it if he was cute and charming and fun yeah, yeah. but he wasn't he was like <laughs> come on what are we doing what are we doing he's so hot too i know i'm bummed but yeah it's fine it's for the best because i was staying with my sister she has a new baby and it's like i didn't need to be out late like waking the baby up when i came you were home. in boston last night yeah after oh. my you know she had to take fun. me on the road with her how nice were you there for shows yeah oh nice show i just had <laughs> i headlined the hideout last night who the fuck are you <laughs> oh my god you fucking loser I, like i'm not joking anymore like i'm getting really irritated with you because what's happening when i was just of saying like like, like <laughs> patrick when i say patrick milligan is texting me about you like what the fuck like about right? what uh, oh you dressing god. like an asshole <laughs> Oh my god, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, they don't give me for my jewelry, not my jewelry. At eleven thirty, but it just sort of like, it slowly dawns on me that like people come to me every time you do something goofy, annoying. They come, they go, Karen. Why does Jared do yeah, this? Yeah, it is. It's like you're his like keeper or like his yeah. mom. Yeah, yeah. And it's not good. It's it'd be great. Like, hey, Karen, Jared killed at an open mic. That's what I love to hear. Has anyone ever said Never. that? Oh. <laughs> Hey, Jared's the best, worst comedian. Jared's the best <laughs> out of all these shitty open micers. Jared is the best. They don't oh even my say that. god, that would make me so happy. They don't say that. No, Jared. What did don't. Patrick say though? Let's he read it. Texted me at eleven thirty to midnight. I wasn't even awake. <laughs> I was a bit early. 
<laughs> Wait, I think I like your and Patrick rela- relationship because one night we were out and you texted Patrick, this person can't perform here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure he was just like, all right, Karen. He's like, well, I mean, she's part of the team. <laughs> Like he, like if I really like detest someone, I do feel like Patrick would be like, yeah, I'll go to what? I'll go to like it's the dishwasher. God, he makes my blood boil. <laughs> he would, he would like he'll be like, I'll ice him out if you want me to. So. I think I could do that. I think I have the clout there now yeah. to do it. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it could be. It's really fun. So stop fucking with me. So, um, I will say, Jared, one compliment. It's not really directly to you, but the <laughs> photographer at the show I did of yours was great. The photos were really great of me that you sent me. Oh, photo juice. It's great. Photo juice. Oh, that's photo okay. Juice. Yeah, they were great. He's a good we photographer. We did, um, I did a show and then afterwards, Rockwell. you know, the, like we did like a p- portrait yeah. and he like pulled me into um, like a side at like a doorway kind of to take the, the portrait mm-hmm. and it was just so many people had pissed there that day smell. like it, the smell I was like what is my life yeah you're like in- how am I standing in this like drop down <laughs> doorway smiling. Like just smiling in a on. puddle of piss piss and thanks photo, for doing that for mom's photo looks great sure. this winter I'm going for piss <laughs> <laughs> you can smell it through this gorgeous portrait <laughs> I love a good photographer. They're like so clutch. It sucks when they stink and they send you like 30 bad pictures and you're just like, do you not like me? Like, well, it sucks when they think they're good and they're not. Yeah. Mm. They're like, look at this. I'm like, I don't want to. It's hurting my feelings. Maybe yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah exactly. It's like you tried to make me look bad. Why did you shoot me like on an exhale from below? <laughs> like, why do I look like I'm coming out of the shadows? Yes. Like, why is this? Where's the lighting? Yeah. You Summer had a good. light, I thought. <laughs> what happened? Where is it in the photo? Some are good, though. Yeah. Do you see how Pat gives subtle direction to Jared's body language? You are dressed like it's 40 degrees in here. Pat comes in sweating regardless. Like, it doesn't I'm matter if cool. it's 80 Are you, out. does Pat, you run hot? Yeah, Pat runs really hot. He's okay. out, and then he's he, a big he, boy. my AC is on before I can even, and like, the window's open, and then it's freezing. So maybe that's why. Are you cold? No, I feel great. Oh. I'm cool. Like okay. the other side of the pillow. What are you, are you hot or cold? I'm like, always cold. Always cold. What about she you? She has a really cold I heart. run hot. You run hot? And I hate being hot. Like I really, like I'm sleeping with the windows open. That's sometimes nice though. Yeah. I will like cook myself. I will like bake oh. myself into a nap. Like do you want it hot like in your day to day? I would love like it you if thrive it was like in 75 the heat. Everywhere. No, sick. That's so <laughs> crazy. I would love it. I would everywhere be- was 75 and sunny all day, every day? I am outdoors, but like if I walk into a place and the thermostat is 75, I feel like rage. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what mine is. <laughs> You ever what? been to Hawaii? What is it? It's not 100. It can't be 100. Yeah, I go to Hawaii every weekend. It's Tell me about so Hawaii, skinny. Jared. It's got the same weather every week. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. How much time have you spent on the island of Oahu <laughs> again? I went to Maui. Okay. Oh, that's like the Miami no, of, Oha- yeah, of Hawaii. I know. It's I like know. not even that cool. I went with my parents. <laughs> no, it's cool. I just, it's, it's like not. not where you, you <laughs> like fly in there and uh, do a night. And we use, I, mi- we use miles to get there. <laughs> did you? Who's we? Who is we? My parents. They're so cute. I love that. We met, uh, you know who we met at our uh, luau? Uh, Gabriel Iglesias. <clears throat> that's awesome wait who is that the, the guy with the fluffy, fluffy? He's okay guy, he the, was at our luau i get i'm not i was like enrique do you remember i almost said what enrique. happened to him enrique enrique he was, iglesias he, he married that hot tennis star right anna what's her face Kornikova? no different anna oh, i think but like another hot russian but she wasn't that good i think yes. she, she was ranked like 15th every year i'm like why do we care about oh she's, she's hot crazy i hot. remember yeah mm. 100%. And he had like that mole on his face. Did he get it removed? I don't know. I can't even think of a song he plays. Pat, I if you don't find out that information, oh, I don't know. Yeah. That's Gabriel Inglis? No, Enrique. Enrique, Enrique. Inglis? Oh, yeah, wait. wait Hero. A it's Hero. Wait a minute. Did you meet Enrique or Gabriel? Gabriel. I met Gabriel, the comedian, Fluffy. Oh, this whole time I was talking about Enrique. Okay. Wait, well, we you know, brought, we, wait no, you she, brought she up Enrique. I just Enrique. went she with Iglesias. Yeah, and just... No, we did bring Gabriel's, it. like, not... I mean, it's kind of impressive. But like he oh, was, he had it removed. Wow. Oh, it could have been cancerous. Mm, Holy moly. Well, that could have been a lot. That's like getting a nose job and mm. being like, I had a deviated septum, septum. Yeah. which some people do, but, like, but it feels real? like that energy to me. I mean, looking at it now, it does look a little... I bet over the years, if it's changed colors, it definitely could have been cancerous. Yeah. 
It'd be funny if it like got bigger and bigger and started singing along with him. Hmm. What if he like his doctor was like, "Hey, this is cancerous. You have to remove it." He's like, "I'm not. It's He's my a, signature. It's my signature. I need it." He's like, "I'm talking about your wife. She's so hot." Oh is it God. Anna Kornikova? I th- isn't that the name? Isn't is it? Oh yeah, I think you are right. Maria Sharapova is another one. You're totally right. It is. She Anna was. Kornikova. She was like this. Yes, she was like this she, whole thing that she wasn't even that great. Not tennis. No, she's all right. But. A tennis, oh, yeah, but she was like this. Hot. She's all right. Shut up, Jared. I see the pussy you pull. She was like the Britney of tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Jared keeps bragging about this fucking mediocre pussy he keeps what? getting. What? What? Every week you're like, I fucked a girl, but it wasn't that good. And like, shut up. The same girl? No, it's different girls. I just make out girls. I can't really take them. Do back you? Home. Do they know. like you? Like to no. come up to you after your show? <laughs> I don't like him. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I do pretty good after my shows. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. No. He, like, messages him on I Instagram well. until well. they feel bad for him. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. No, I, they do. You brought two girls to the after party. I brought two girls. They left, and I brought backups. That's wow. Cool. Yeah, I think it's just... This is that jewelry. I think it's just any time. The same thing's happening with, like, Pete Davidson, right? It's like, if guys just shoot their shot, they get pussy. Ugh. Don't, no, it's, it's like love I bombing. Sh- I don't shoot my shot. Isn't like a pity thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think Pete Davidson love bombs. Well, so I feel like I, I feel like I totally understand the Pete Davidson appeal. Like I, yeah. I feel like I people can't understand it, and I'm like, I think that he's the ultimate like phase guy. It's this yeah. bad boy. He's if you've never, I was actually talking to it with this guy last night about it. Like I think that Kim Kardashian has never dated a funny person. Like right. she's never dated a comedian. No. She went on no, SNL. Kanye is very funny. She got Actually, all this. Actually, Kanye, the is stuff very that's funny. been coming out that's lately a, uh, is kind of funny. All right. But like But he's also like mental. But she she's never dated a comedian. Oh, what Pete Davidson t- <laughs> yeah. straighter? He's totally fine. Pete's totally fine. Look at what he wears. He's totally fine. Look at he what looks great. What? Kanye is but the she, inventor of like, fashion. Got this taste of comedy on SNL. Like people are like, Kim's funny. And I think it like got her all gassed up mm-hmm. like she's a comic. I yeah. heard she did some wedding speech and people were like, She's so funny. She's so it's funny like you guys. No, she's a funny girl. But I I just feel like he is the ultimate rebound phase guy and I think he's like the ultimate person women would want to save. He's like sad. Look, look at this photo of you know? yeah. Flavor Flav and I saw and it. I saw it. I I also know somebody that has fucked him and she said it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing? Yeah. yeah. I just I think he I think he love bombs. I think love bombing works, especially if you're in a certain state. Yeah. Like I think he's very probably very good with like being direct and complimentary like out the gate. Like yeah. and it sounds so simple, but like guys struggle with that. Because he gets such beautiful women. I think he knows like how to like talk to beautiful women. I said this last night. Tell me if you agree with me. I know you will. If Pete Davidson was five seven, mm-hmm. he would never have gotten a decent looking woman in his life. Like he Probably is not, not the t- the height is part of it. Sure. The height's part of it. You're right about the like wanna save you bad guy part of it. My dad died part of it. Like, you know, like emo. Well but- and it's yes, like I've watched him in interviews. He's super candid of like I am suicidal a lot. Yeah, like yeah. A, a w- women, a lot of women have like that innate savior they thing. Like help him, yeah. a funny sad guy like yeah. really can get some pussy. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. I think it. he gets codependent. <laughs> Shut up, Jared. <laughs> I think he gets codependent pretty quickly. And I feel like yeah. there's a little bit of like a I don't I don't want this to come across the wrong way because I'm not it's not a like classist thing but a, a little bit of like a slum, dumpster diving like, like a slum and th- <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's like slum covered, in coming in tattoos he's a Staten Island guy and I say that whoa, with like whoa, whoa, whoa. no with like no <laughs> garbage no, but, garbage trash, trash you know what trash. I mean like it feels like they the, smell what, like he, tuna. It's like they're a fucking phase. the sardines of people. They're <laughs> fucking gross. I've never been. <laughs> I, and you'll never I'm have to. Don't lovely. worry. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like he's yeah. this, it's a phase. And also I feel like Courtney is getting all this attention with Travis Barker. Okay. And Kim's like, I, I want a I think that's part of it tattooed too. rock star type of guy. I fucking love Courtney. She's my favorite one. I think she's actually a funny person. I think she is mean on the inside. Yeah. And that's, she's rotten so to it, the core. Not it, rotten, but like me. Like I like it. It does track. I like it a lot. Like you, cause you look back at like, like, with her fighting with Chloe, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's so it good. It feels really me. It's so good. I love and it. I love Chloe. Yeah, I, I, she just I, I wants everybody to people. love each other. Poor Chloe. She just wants to raise her basketball star daughter. <laughs> yeah. I do. I do love this for Pete. He's killing it. Well, what do you guys think is going to happen? Like, they're going to like yeah. a, we got like a month or two. Yeah, and... I think it's going to fizzle pretty quickly. But maybe they'll prove me wrong. Who knows? Do you no. think it's real? 
Yeah, I yeah. definitely think they're hanging out, spending time together. I think that she, like you said, like she's also at a like place where she wants to laugh right now. She's got fucking. Uh, yep. Yeah. She's going through this very public divorce. She's still got four fucking kids. I mean, um, I mean, I I think that. Kim is probably a decent mother, but yeah. like she also seems kind of annoyed with her kids a lot. Mm-hmm. So Pete's like, she's like, entertain the kids, Pete. Something like, like get me away from them sorry, more. more. Yeah, more like let me have a vacation. Well, that picture kids. of them just like right now it's trending on Twitter as we speak of like them holding hands, but she's wearing the Yeezys still, which is so. Well, funny. that's the yeah. I mean, I feel like he's never gonna go away like that, like that, and the family. Like I feel like they're always gonna like love Kanye. But that's, I mean, Scott was is still part of the family, right? Scott can fucking die. I fucking hate that guy. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I hate what a douchebag, smarmy motherfucker. I think he's getting everything that came to him. I hated him the whole time he did this shit to Courtney. Mm-hmm. I think that, I hope he's just ridiculed and humiliated and feels awful for the rest of his life for losing her. I think he feels awful about himself as in, uh, in general. And yeah. Because it's like, he's also just like a, a very clear alcoholic. Like he's just like, yeah. and I don't think it's your fault. If you have an addiction, I do think it's your responsibility to fucking fix it. <laughs> like, yeah. especially if you're someone with the amount of resources that that guy has, yeah. like fucking fix your life. Yeah. Grow up. I hear you. I'm glad it happened to him. I hate him. <laughs> I also like have like, this, like, I hate like trust fund type of people. Yeah. I like, hear you. Why is that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Feels personal. <laughs> it's so, per- I'm going to touch my new plants. <laughs> That's a great That's plant. It, is that a, like a holiday plant? It's like a fur. It's like a cute little baby Christmas tree. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know if they were real or fake when they arrived, but they're real. What, what do you mean when they arrived? <laughs> they just got here. From where? I ordered them from Amazon? This. No, it's a place called Sill. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have like, I ordered that one behind Jared. The money one's old. I don't know why you put it right behind. Oh, is it coming? Is it showing? Fucking better be. I need more things on my walls, though. I need a man. Like, I need, like, like see that? Like, we I know need, you need a man. I do. To, like, do stuff like hide no. wires. Oh, yeah. Are you good at stuff like that? You're Am I? nice. <laughs> no, but. Wait, I, I'm not trying to date That Ashley. is honestly. <laughs> no, but that's honestly such a, like, thing I would never attempt to do is, like, hide, hide wires. wires. Right? Me neither. I just look at it and go, that's for a guy to do. I guess I live in a place that doesn't have hidden like, wires. Like, well, my best guy friend, Rob, <laughs> and we do, we work on stuff together. He lives in the building. So he'll do stuff here and there. And, but if he tries to explain to me how to do it, I just black out 100%. like my eyes glaze over he's yeah. like then you got to get this little thing that hides the wire i'm like no yeah. <laughs> well also if he'll help me with stuff but if not just like task grab it like yes this is we're so lucky to have like access to people that are just that's what they just come and do jared's my task dum dum he's my jared ta- can you do stuff like that though he's my task uh, idiot. Me and my boy pat built a deck we built a, what? a picnic table you're we built handy a bar. i got hands pat's whoa handy. whoa i built a ch- chest by myself I built, the, you ha- I built a chest and a table. From Ikea? Can I, wait. No, no, no. Can I tell I you? From scratch? Refurbished, re, uh, reclaimed wood. What? I don't know. I'm going to get a reclaimed co-host. That's actually like... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of impressive. I feel like guys today don't have a lot of those skills. Like It's okay. He just asked me some questions because he built my dresser, which, by the way, one of the drawers is not working. So mm. before you leave. Take a peek. Check on that drawer. I got a place to be. I got to Take it. a peek before you leave. <laughs> I but I always it. have to leave whenever he's building stuff because he asks me questions. He plays like corny music and he'll be like, Care, do you have this? Do you have that? And then I just leave. Wait, what kind of music? Oh, What's your furniture building music? Like this, I said this on the one. I just love pop music. When Derek was on the podcast. Like think of your workout playlist, but make it gayer. That's what he okay. likes. Okay. Like if they would play it in a Sephora. Yeah. That's his vibe. Yeah. But if I feel like they like crescendo too. Like he's like, this is now I'm really building. <laughs> no. this, this weekend? Like you like a beat to drop. Yeah. 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 On your building. Yeah. And he takes his earring out. That's how you know. <laughs> this he's weekend ready I to... played pop hits on a, whatever channel it is on TV. You know that? You know those? Oh, those the channels? hit list? Yeah. yeah. yeah on Music Choice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. While I was sleeping with some girl. It was great. That's what? funny. That's so funny. So like you're like, this is number five in the country right now. And you're the number of five the girl who's been in my play. house. Yeah. It's like hit list. Because you never know what's going to come up on that. I know. It I don't could think change it's the, the best whole sex rhythm playlist. of the. Yeah. You could go from like a, like a hot, slow song to like, I don't know. Doja Cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could just be bad. Yeah. I'm always in rhythm. Sweetie. Ew, no, you're not. What did he say? He's always in rhythm. <laughs> Oh, my God. Gross. Are you good at sex? I think I'm all right. <laughs> I always know where to find the clip. Do you I, can th- you, I can tell you that. 
That's great, man. And I like to ask a lot of questions. So, like what? <laughs> like, what do you what do you like? like? I, oh, okay. Uh, like, are you a talker? Mm. Yeah, he's like, what do you like? Do you have any tips for my comedy career? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what do you like in bed? But do you have any tips to get into this uh, club? <laughs> I, don't know. I, I like to get permission. Yeah, of course. Yeah, consent like is sexy. Consent. I love how his brag is. I don't rape. <laughs> 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 I'm not a big rapist. <laughs> uh, no, I ask the question if they like to be hit, if they like to be held. Shut up. You okay. Ask if they like to be hit. Hit or like choked or spanked. A little bit of both. Okay. Like closed fist That's punch? That's so funny. Like if a guy, I've never had a guy like, do you like to be hit? I'd be like, can you clarify? <laughs> right. Open hand. Yeah, kind of, but yeah. not mm-hmm. my ass, punched in the yes. face. Hey, yeah, my ass. Yes. But no, I'm not trying to leave here with a black eye. <laughs> fucking rocky you went through too many of those already <laughs> wait speaking of, did you see the video of the former nfl guy beating up his girlfriend oh, no, i, didn't see I the video, saw I like about um it. post about it but not oh, it's God. fucking horrific you don't have to put it on but you can if you want it's fu- you know who i'm talking zach tracy stacy stacy oh my god like you think oh, you asked for consent before he did well, so this is what i was talking to- <laughs> Shut how did this ha- <laughs> Also, like, where was this? Was this in their home? In their home. Yeah, Darren. I think he was like, hey, do you mind if in I throw... In front of the kid. Um, do you mind if I throw you into your TV? That's what he probably Into the her. TV. You haven't watched this? But nah. did he, I, I feel like I didn't... I don't really want to watch it. Oh, it's, my God. It's, sorry, don't watch it if you don't. If you, oh, my oh. God. And it falls Oh, my her. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is horrifying. Yeah, it's really bad. Glad I brought it up. We were having so much fun. God damn it, Karen. Sorry. It gets a little worse, right? Pat? So he, it no, worse? I don't, don't want to watch anymore. He hits her again. Um, no, th- no, thanks. Um, no, he punches her again. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, is he I going mean, to jail? Well, he's he, probably, yeah. they caught him finally. He was on the run. Oh, he was on the run? Yeah, because he was wanted for another, like, uh, aggravated assault charge in another state. Um, he's probably going to claim CTE. I was talking to my brother-in-law about this, which they must, a lot of them must be using as a defense. And I think it's fucking, I mean, it's very nuanced, of course, this conversation, but like all of these fighters, football, wrestler guys have CTE and it's mm-hmm. easy to do a brain scan and prove it. Like, yeah, I have CTE. So it's like, oh, so it's like professional football players and athletes are basically allowed to beat their girlfriends because they give themselves this disease that makes you fucking crazy. I mean, that, I feel <laughs> like if, if we can prove that your brain is going to make you do crazy stuff shouldn't you just go into a institution and sometimes it's too late yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah like oh you're not safe to be out yeah. here on the street but they'd probably rather go to like some like you know kitty glove rehab than like prison oh that's what i meant that's what i meant though if you're like how can you just be if you if you're like i have this disorder from playing sports whatever that is making me violent yeah how do you get to walk the street i don't know i hope that he doesn't i hope he's committed at least oh my god but sometimes they get these like not really bad sentences and then if say they do go to jail it probably just makes them more violent i don't see how that i don't know it's nuanced but yeah <sighs> fucking crazy i was gonna say isn't like what what <laughs> i was gonna... did you Oh, I hate him. I hate him. That was such like a good, not a good topic that I brought up, but it was something. It you was know? something. I was gonna you say. You could, and I was like, uh, here, and here he's gonna uh, button it, and here goes this segment. Go ahead. Were you doing this before solo? <laughs> <laughs> or like, how did, did this start? Do you guys start this together? I always forget. It's just like pure irritation. Like, like the subtext of this is like, why did you ask him to be here? <laughs> no, if no, you no. hate him so Sorry, much, I just I didn't know the history of the of the no. pod. It did over during the pandemic. Oh, okay. I think I just texted Jared one day. I was like, "Fine, we can do a podcast." And he's like, "I didn't ask." I was like, "Fine, Jared, you can come over." (laughs) Oh my god, I didn't ask. (laughs) Last night at this at the stand was so many weird dudes. Oh no! One guy last night. What are you talking about? What? (laughs) It was Jared. Wasn't there? (laughs) Like I was thinking this. It jogged my memory because. This guy came up. He was being super weird and lurky and then around Hannah specifically. And then finally he kept being like, where's Hannah? And I was like talking to this other comic. and I was like, she's downstairs. She's on the show. Yeah. And then he finally came back around and he was like, hey, I, I got to be honest. I'm, I'm into Hannah. And I'm like, yeah, oh I can tell <laughs> she's engaged. Engage. Very public about yeah. her engagement and, and future I, nuptials. I was talking to this guy and he – and. They had not met, and the guy goes, it was nice to meet you. Like, it, it's so weird. He was like, I've never had somebody tell me it was nice to meet me that didn't meet me. Like, <laughs> but it was on another level of, like, creepy dudes just 
milling around like all this guy this that you ever see that really tall guy there mm-hmm. he's yeah, he like he took one of like my a, fries really? no i don't even know him he, i would lose my shit i would love to tell off him i would love to tell you've off that probably guy. seen that guy he's like so tall he's six nine yeah he played for like a- army or navy but he kept bringing up like he kept he kept doing a weird thing that he, he was like i'm gay uh, no, oh, yeah, I'm not. I heard during the show, he, right? He keeps. I'm like, I think you're gay, so you should just come out. Cause yeah. he he jokes. He get he was so wasted, like which is like always scary to be around someone that big and like and that wasted. Because if they fall down, yes, they're gonna kill you. You are timber. the tree, they're the timber. Yes. And he just kept. He was like kind of <laughs> hitting on this guy. I was talking to like joking. I'm like, it's very. You're really really drunk now, yeah. which I don't even know how much you have to drink to be to get this drunk at your yeah. size. But and you just keep doing this weird. I'm gay. Ha <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. Oh my God. I would never. It's like, w- nothing's telling me you're gay more than this. Right. Mm-hmm. So just come out. You Ugh. live in New York City just so I can be gay. Like, I what are we doing? I live to like tell drunk people to like get away from me. Like, yeah. I live for, to be like, you're so wasted. Cause I used to get it because I used to be that fucking person. Mm-hmm. And people would be like, Karen, you're so wasted. You're obnoxious. Go home. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't. I, and anybody who's like home. fucking, like fucking up vibes or being shitty and weird why what did i and walk like on strangers Some genius, just what did you weirdos. say what quip was it they what? just looked at each other like i ruined jared's joke what what jared had a joke <laughs> punk ass motherfucker oh my God. i don't like when they gang up against the funniest me. is that hannah said that guy was great and she offered him comps for her show what <laughs> yeah. well so he he came up in a more yeah. in a more normal fashion and then as yeah. the night went on he got weirder and weirder and then he kept he, got, he was like hey where's hannah i'm like she, I oh, was the there when guy? she told you to go downstairs. She, there, she's on the show. Yeah. You want to see her? She's probably on the stage right oh, now. Oh, the tall guy's the one who said. No, I'm into a Hannah? different guy. Oh, different this guy, guy was shorter, and like then he, he was just finally I had to be like Hannah's engaged to Des Bishop. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I was like I'm not lying as her friend. I'll tell you this guy's name. She's fully engaged. It couldn't be easier if you're in love with her. You should know she's very public about. No, this. he had like met her that night. Whatever. Oh. And then he didn't know the whole thing. He was kind of so fun and flirty. You she know I mean? is. I was like talking to these girls after, but, and he he came up again to, to try to talk to me, and I go, "We're not in here." Yeah. Like I was like, "You gotta go home." Good. Good. Like I saw him like. Boundaries. Excuse me. I was like, "There's nothing else no. to say." I told you, Hannah's engaged. You, you You're still out. haven't figured out there's a show downstairs. You're out. Get lost. Yeah. Like it was him. weird energy. Like. A bunch of like drunk, weird guys around. It just is can get a little. Yeah. And they like, were they hanging out like the comics area. They were just everywhere. Like this other guy was acting was so. Fun. I remember. I remember uh, yeah. one time. It was fine. It was such a, also a fun night. It was a fun hang. Yeah. A lot of great girls there. They were. Shout out to Lev Fur bringing out the great girls. Lev Fur. Is that serious? Because <laughs> it was me. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls were there because of me. Of course they <laughs> so were. <laughs> dude what is lev thinking posting a picture of past hot him but, like uh, what type of fucking sadness are you in that you have to be like look once i had human form <laughs> oh like, my god okay. it's <laughs> so yeah. wild to Tip-toe me Tiptoe out of this conversation <laughs> i was gonna say that the funniest was that uh, one time me and ashley were talking about like how we do after shows uh-huh. and as we're talking about that this dude just comes up, just steals Ashley from me, and she ended up knowing him, right? From, what? You remember that? What? What? That when dude, was this? Yeah, I think you met him in Miami, and he just came up and just took over the conversation. Yes. And we were talking about how, like, how do you do after shows, like with the dudes? Oh yes, Jared was like, "Do guys hit on you after shows?" I was like, "No," and it's fucking <laughs> rude. And every guy, and like, and I was literally like popping off because it's so easy for guys. Mm-hmm. And right then, this guy comes up so hot hitting on me. And I was like, <laughs> okay, this is not this normal. Is I, 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 step back. <laughs> I had to, like, walk it back. I can't help this. This is beyond my okay, control. Okay, let me tell you what happened last night. Okay. So, because, you know, I have this, like, amazing story about this guy that I met at a show. We went out. We had this incredible night. And yeah. Then he, and he Wait, is there a development? No, no, no. Okay. But, so, last night, I did that same show, like, Natalie's show yeah. or whatever. And this guy was in the audience. And these two girls who were, like, you know listeners of mine fans of mine whatever they were there with him so they were really trying to set it up and he was cute he was tall he was single whatever but his name was dewey no 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 oh my god and i was like that's That's my dead dog dog. like i can't i could never that's not a human name even talking to him was his last name decimal 
<laughs> yeah it was uh Hesseltine, actually it was the same name as my dog no but it was so like wouldn't I it could... be funny if you just started licking your face he's like mom it's me he like sat and he like gave me a paw I miss and you. then he started barking at a skateboard <laughs> <laughs> and then he like murdered this cat i was fuck like do it yeah. but i was like i could never date no ha- if i was like you know what that's my man I'm going to date him. Yeah. We would have to fully change the name. 100%. You'd be like, so Dewey, how do you like Richard? Paul? James? <laughs> literally any other name. <laughs> Dewey? We don't. <laughs> Dewey? Also, we don't. Dewey? We don't. We don't. <laughs> I went through a name change growing up. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the What night- do you mean? What like, you, what's your Christian you, uh, name? <laughs> <laughs> My Hebrew name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get tripped up because I'm such a Christian. <laughs> With the last name like Hesseltine. I once called, I kept going. One time I was talking to Raiden, I kept saying Jewish church, and she was like, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't trying to be offensive. She was like, Ashley, we don't use the word church. I'm like, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> we have multiple names for it <clears throat> temple, synagogue, synagogue, what else? <laughs> multiple. And oh. she's like, <laughs> What'd you say? She goes, we, I go, we have multiple names. She goes, temple, synagogue, what else? I was like, multiple. I guess. <laughs> like two, when I think That's of it. multiple, I think of more than two. Yeah. But whatever. Uh, um, what was your, what's your Hebrew jo- name? <laughs> no, well, my Hebrew name is Yosef, but hmm. uh, they called me Georgie growing up in sports. I had to get a name change. For what is Georgie? Because, uh, playing sports, I had a kid named Garrett on the team. Okay. So I would answer to it. What Jared, did you just Garrett, say? It, I get it. It's his learning disability at play. <laughs> it, My ears. His, some kid's name was Garrett, and he would answer to it because his that name's come off Jared. The field. So where did Georgie come from? They're like, all right, either pick They're a name, ch- George or Bob. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> I've never. And I went with Georgia. My dad called me Georgie for like 10 plus oh years. God. Really? Whenever I played sports. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. like, your coaches are right. You're a dumbass. You <laughs> oh, have no my God. hearing skills. They, they don't. <laughs> they don't not, it's know. like a different continent. Ja-ga. It's like they're different oh, yeah, noises. Yeah, totally different. Okay. What did you play sports? What sports did you play? I played hockey, baseball, basketball, uh, soccer. Were you good? Um, I'm an athlete. He played. This is true. He played dodgeball. And I played uh, and golf. <laughs> he lost. Bowling. I'm mediocre at everything. Okay. Aww. My comedy. Oh, that's not true. That is not true. You are less than mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, she's gonna say something fucked up. <laughs> I could feel like I knew that was coming. I set it up. You hear Karen go. I threw her. I threw her the alley oop. What's up with the alley oop? It's a basketball reference. Oh, I want to. So I want to take a bowling. Back ball to guys to at shows. Head. There was a guy in the audience who I thought was cute. I was having good banter with. He was a fireman. Okay. And um, I was like, "How tall are you?" And he goes, "Does it matter?" He goes, "Tall enough." And I was like, five "And everybody's like, and I was like, yeah, but like for me, I'm five one. I was like, he's I, right. As long as he's really yeah, like yeah. over a fucking five seven, it's fine." Mm-hmm. Um, and so it was good. It was good banter. Then I get off stage. I go back. Maybe like half an hour goes by. And I come back around. And he's at the bar. And he's like, it's me, the fireman. I'm like, wasted, wasted. What is it with these drunk oh. monsters? Like, he's like, well, yeah. We're gonna hang out. Like, yeah. Gooby, gooby, goo. Wait, how tall was he? Because I wonder if it's the same fireman I went out with. <laughs> so I went out with this fireman. Not that tall. And he, whatever. We went on one really good date. And mm. then... It just, it, he got kind of inconsistent and it, whatever. He was like, I can't do you because I'm allergic to dogs. I was like, you're oh, fucking Don't you pussy. hate those fucking fairies? I'm so fuck. Yeah. Did I just hear a bark? That was a laugh. That was a laugh. Oh. Or I, a bark? I know. <laughs> He's doing sound effects now. I, I was thinking about how, like, I'm not going to be able to handle when Ernest passes away. Because just today, like, not having him here, like, I look for him and I think of, like, everything reminds me of him. I'm like, oh, he's not here. It'll oh, ruin not. your life. It's, I know. I'm like, I, I knew you'd be the No, you'll be person. fine. You'll be fine. But that's the worst, like, it's such a void. It's like yeah. unreal. Um, I'm but here to fill it. No. Cheer. He acts like a dog. I'm, I'm like, I treat really Ernest girl. so much better than I treat you. Are you yeah. crazy? Oh, 100%. <laughs> Ernest my son. But this fireman, like, then he cr- he tried to creep back in, like, months later. Oh, like, these like, fucking but, bread-crumbing motherfuckers. But really hard. I like, hate them. So much. Like, to the point where he's like, I'm so sorry about before. I don't know. But I really want to go out again. And I was like, 
Absolutely not. No. And then he, I feel like he was just getting progressively drunker. He would text, text me like four in the morning. And mm. the one time he sent me a selfie, I was like, uh, is this a mugshot? Yeah. Like, I think he thought he was sexy. And it was like the most glassy eyed, wet lip, drunk looking. How do they come back around so hard? I was like, like I'm not interested like, in this. I'm like, I've lost interest. Like, yeah, I, no, so I, it's, it tur- it's turned off. Yeah. What's like, the proper way to come back? Don't. <laughs> don't fuck, don't it, up fuck it up the first time. time. <laughs> Like, we had a hot makeout. My right. doorman saw it's it. It's like, I've remained this hot. You know, that's why you're coming back. So I'm just supposed to be like, oh, your little brain wasn't working? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't want a waterhead. Go well, away. I mean, I don't even know what happened if he saw me now. New <laughs> face. <laughs> he loses fucking You shit. liked the old face. <laughs> so <laughs> you let me upgrade you, bitch. <laughs> this, oh um, this one guy came back. You remember the douchebag comedian who I slept with and then he brought a Tinder date to yes, the sand? and then you try to get him banned. Yep. <laughs> I don't think it worked out. <laughs> well, I haven't seen him actually. He's not on the what fucking. Do you mean? He said he brought his cousin. He's not on the roster. Um, listen, that person fucking like three days ago. Oh, I want to fuck you so bad I can't think straight. What? Yeah. And I was like, no. I blew him off. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I'm romantically interested in someone else, and I don't want to muddy my waters. <laughs> Good. But I am like he talks like that. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, no, I said that. Oh, oh, the think straight thing. I know it was great. Yeah. I mean, the compliment is so. <laughs> Had you guys spoken in a while, or he just came out with that? I saw him a couple times. Okay. But like, we weren't texting. Because you're like turned off of him, right? Yeah. Because I've that's how I feel like. There's very few, I can think of one guy that I've dated and then we're kind of see each other. We're cool. We're friends. I would still fuck him. Yeah. Um, I think he's really hot. I think he's like only gotten hotter, which usually after I date guys, they glow down. Yeah. But <laughs> other than that, like for women, I just feel like it's off. It's off. Like yeah. it doesn't matter. Like I look at guys that um, this guy used to kind of have a thing with in Chicago. He came back in town recently and he wanted to get drinks. And like when I tell you that I used to think he was the hottest man on earth, like mm-hmm. to the point where I was like, that guy could ruin my life Yeah. to sit down with him and have drinks and like feel like he was interested in me i was like we're i i can't describe it but it's completely the switch is turned it's off gone. you kind of fucked with me too like that's unattractive cool. to me right. too right like you blew it is what it is my ex still the like the guy that i spent like eight years with like in my 20s like my whole fucking 20s um he still at least once a week hits me up and it's oh, always once a week it's always like four and five in the morning and he's like hey judy he's called me judy he's called him jude i'm like no i feel nothing yeah i feel for you he was a huge part of, he was like my family you know what i yeah. mean like i love him in a way that like i don't love a lot of people yeah but it's a it's more of a pity thing it's like and i'm usually like stop drinking like stop doing cocaine like you're in your 40s like, yeah get it together right but yeah, there's and he and I would like, oh my god, I would have lied in the road and let him piss on me. Like I was That's obsessed hot. with him, obsessed. Would have done anything. Right. It's weird to look back and yeah. be like, oh my god, yeah, I was obsessed with you. Yeah. Lewis too. Lewis is like yeah. fucking. You know, I look at him now and I'm like, you mong, you knew, you fucking Neanderthal. <laughs> How did I do that? I have your fucking garbage sperm in me i feel like forever forever girls are such liars dude no, it's we're not. crazy what liars about <laughs> what what are we lying, what are we about? lying about i don't know i just want to i wouldn't like, i feel no need to lie i wouldn't want to date lewis I, I, I honestly wouldn't wish dating lewis on my worst enemy to be perfectly honest i just think girls are crazy why that's such a hot take jared i know You're what so like who says no, that no, You're no really like the only that. guys in their 20s say that that <laughs> crazy phrase yeah. women are crazy oh yeah, cool crazy. i can't figure no, it out great. all i do is like treat you like shit and you guys are fucking crazy you like like guys treat women like less well than they treat like their friends and family and like they want more from us no not me also, crazy is like rolls off the back. Like that's like a yeah. guy calling that's or not a guy. That's like anybody calling me a bitch. Cool, yeah, cool, cool insult. I heard interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck out I heard of here. Get shit done. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. I just they like it's, do better. No, yeah. I have no evidence to back it up. I just wanted to speak. What? <laughs> Why? Do I, how many times have I said what? I know. Is it's, it is it like a? Do I need to? He's trying is to it me. No. He's trying to earn his participation trophy, so he keeps <laughs> interrupting with no purpose. But is he? Is it? Is it retarded? He's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be on this podcast because they words like that. Sorry, but too he, much at stake. It's French for letal. It means slow. Okay, say whatever you want. No, but it was very interesting. Only hearing, hands. hearing what you girls had to say. What was? I still can't understand him. Well, you, what's interesting? <laughs> what are you interested in? About how once it's off, it's off. Yeah. That makes sense. 
I mean, oh, how, do you, that's how, do you, how do you turn the light back on? No, I, I don't. don't. I, it's never really happened for me. Like I'm trying to. I don't know. It, but also even, everybody's different. This is, I'm just speaking on myself. Even if I've gotten back together with the guy, like who, if it was like a breakup type thing where you like, it's dimmer every time. It's yeah. Because yes. those things that you broke up about aren't going anywhere. Yeah. Unless you like actually fix yeah. them. So I, I mean the guy that I'm thinking of, like that I would still fuck again today. We never like were in love. It was just casual. It ended fine. Like it's just, it's more like I, I never felt burned by him. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I don't have, I know a lot of women just like guys that don't like them. My thing is like, if you, if you don't like me, I don't like you. Like, I don't have the I have energy. A, I have a lot of like anymore. self-worth and I just don't, if, if I feel like you, you fucked with me, I am yeah. just not interested anymore. Right. I like compliments. I like being like yeah. thought of. I like being considered. Yeah. <laughs> Call me kooky. We are crazy. Because our parents love us. <laughs> I know. Maybe that's why both of them. <laughs> Your dad really loves you. Yeah. Oh, he does. I think that's why. Yeah. I actually, I was talking to a girl recently. I'm a new friend. I love her. She's a comic. She's very funny. Um, But she was like talking. She was like, I just can't help myself with some of these fuck boys. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm never interested in them. I'm just, if you don't like me, I don't like you. And she's like, your parents loved you. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know. It's hard to tell somebody that has like that has a shitty dad. Right. But you're like, I have a I have a head start. Really you healthy know what I mean? support system. Yeah. They still love me. I mean, do me and my dad have like deep talks? Nobody texts me about Bitcoin like almost every day. Yeah, I'm not. My dad and I don't. You know, some people have like they're like I'm like I'm not like a daddy's girl. No, 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 no. Like we're no. super tight, but I'm not yeah. like I don't call my dad and like tell him like. No, like, I like tell my gets, mom everything. Same with me. I'm like very tight. But then with my mom. mom tells my dad. Yeah, and my <laughs> dad doesn't understand, doesn't listen. Yeah. He like listens, listens, listens with his eyes shut. Club, so. That's my dad's move. <laughs> shut up, Jerry. He falls asleep. Yeah, I listen, I listen he, to her. He well, every like I used to compete in like speech and debate, so I used to memorize these ten minute long monologues and I would perform them for my dad. Like I would oh practice, my God, I love it. and he would sit there. My dad's like six foot two, like three hundred pounds. Okay. Like he's a big fucking dude, and he would just sit there with his arms crossed and his eyes shut, and I'd be like crying and then laughing, <laughs> doing the most. And he'd be like, "Good care, pretty good." Oh my god! All right, great. Meanwhile, my mom would be crying though. My mom would be into it. Is your dad like? Did he ever discipline you? Yeah, or hit did me. You, was, yeah, what? <laughs> or, <laughs> I, that was not the direction. We weren't I talking was, about daddies. Huh? Um, did he uh, discipline? I mean, yeah, I, like spanked, yelled at. Yes, I feared well, my dad. So my thing was like my dad. It was like my mom's job to kind of like. My mom was awesome, but like neither of them were mean at all. But to kind of when I got in trouble, my mom had to tell me I was in trouble. Like my mm. dad was like didn't want to upset me he didn't want to like he was just so I have have him on such a pedestal and he's Mm -hmm. like never let me down never disappointed me has like and so I that's my daddy issue yeah I have have really fucking high standards and true and like it's like my dad like came from like was from like Dorchester like grew up really poor yeah my dad grew up up really poor too super poor so just like and still to this day like work so hard always would just work 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 and like but like certainly wasn't a stuck up dude and you know by any means like every guy that i ever brought home like my dad was like great you like her you like him care i like him you know yeah very like easy going and um so yeah but like like even like you know like somebody like lewis who like walks in with like you know fucking scary puerto rican bunch of tattoos my dad fucking loved it like they probably Mm -hmm. like hit it off the fastest yeah um, I talk about my weekend when I brought this girl home and she was trying to degrade me. She's like, we're going back to mommy daddy's house. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back to mommy daddy. She's like, I can't wait to meet mommy and daddy. Were you, is that where you were bringing her? I brought yeah. her back to, yeah, yeah, yeah. She still lives at home at 24. Right. Big red flag. And, uh, D- so you bring girls back to your no, I never childhood did. bedroom? Sometimes. I, no, I, Sometimes no, she wasn't bedroom ready. She was not bedroom ready. But do you bring he, girls back? He I've won't bring them in. The, he'll like fuck them in the, on the couch. I love that Pat's like the truth behind everything. I've only ever had one girl sleep in my bedroom. Because your mom sleeps in the bed. <laughs> you should have never told me that. One more monkey <laughs> jumping in the bed. Hi, huh, Jared. That was funny. Uh, but no, this girl was a, she was a basement type of girl. So we brought What? Her. Yeah, it's was, so rude. The, some, sometimes basement. Jared's like funny or whatever, but then he says shit sometimes. I'm like, you're a fucking monster. He, she's not, like imagine Jared thinking his bedroom is a place to a be palace. allowed in. Yeah. This co- you know it's a fucking twin bed and a it's a fucking race is car it? bed. A bobopedic, yeah. <laughs> is it really a twin? Is it a twin? It's no more than a full. It's a twin. It's not. It's a twin. Jared, do you sleep in a twin bed every night? <laughs> it's sleep a, in a twin bed it's every night. It's a twin. <laughs> no, it's not. I've never been. I've never seen it. I've never been. <laughs> I've never been. <laughs> I never. But I believe it. But the it. best is so. 
we nothing's the best no. about it. <laughs> nothing nothing's the best about a twin bed or a Staten Island. All these things are bad. So I br- I bring her home. And she, like I said, she's degrading me on the way home. Talking about, she's like, I can't wait to meet mom and dad. He keeps saying degrading like it's like a sex thing. Like she's well, like, a, like a dominatrix. It, it's condescending. It, it, yeah, it's you know? more just her shitting was on it? you. No, right. I, 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 she was like Nagging. trying to say it. in a, yeah, yeah, she was trying to say it. In a, I was like, all right, like we're here already. Stop this. Like it, it's over. It's, yeah. like, it's like when girls try to be like, I'm funnier than you. Right? I'm sure you girls get that all the time. Ashley and I are just like rage. No one says we're that. Like, you don't even. <laughs> Dudes don't say that to you. Uh, I dare a guy to say that to me. No, like, yeah, I guys like, don't say that. That's so cute. Right. Like, but they say it as like an egg. Um, Girls do that all the time. It just okay, irritates me when guys yeah. do it, I, though. I, I, like, hate neg so yeah. much. Like, yeah. it's... I the think, funny oh, neg You turn the switch off once you hear Well, I love, like, a well, roast, like, when I'm actually dating somebody. Like, I like guys that make fun of me. They and, get like, to know you, and they tease yes, specific things yes. about you. Mm-hmm. That's different than, like, a regular dude trying to come at a comic, a professional right, right, comedian right. with, I'm funny. So this happened with a guy friend of mine, um a good like a really good comedian like a really well-known good comedian and like a girl did that to him and i feel like that just turned it off for him like it's not cute and funny yeah yeah yeah. i still still hook up with them though where i'm at uh i mean like i'm funnier than you it's so lame oh yeah yeah i know but this girl she hit me with that she hit me with i can't wait to see mommy and daddy and then the next morning As I'm about to go drive her home. From the twin bed. Yeah. No, we were in my basement. In the basement. Oh, my God. I know. On the couch. I just picture it underwater. I'm picturing the couch. Is it leather? No, it's uh, Italian. There's a bunch of cup holders. Yeah, there's antlers. No, there's no cup holders. It's like like a nice Italian old school couch. I want to know how to What is an Italian couch? I'm picturing the green room at the stand, and it's (laughs) not good. It's not good. I can smell it. It stinks. It's it's like that white stuff. It stinks. A little bit like that. What is that? That's leather? That's not leather. All right. So. That's just upholstery. Uh, upholstery. I don't know fabric. So uh, you you guys fuck in the basement? Fucked in the basement. And your mom's like, Jared. Well, she said, she, well, I asked her. I was like, so do you make noise? She was like, yeah. I was like, all right, we're going to go to the basement then. Where is this again? Staten Island. This is Staten Island. My house. My parents' house. <laughs> Do you make noise? So, do you meet a girl in imagine the city looking, and yeah. you take her back to a basement in Staten Island? But imagine looking I at... I only take Jared, girls back Jared, you better home. have a nice dick. Yeah. Like, can you imagine? Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't care. It's, but imagine... Can you imagine? <laughs> I can't imagine being a girl looking at Jared and yeah. go, yeah, I make noises. Like, <laughs> Jared's going to make you make noises. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm joking. This guy's going to make me squirt for sure. That is so funny. The guy's <laughs> like, are you loud? You're like, it's for a who? pen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Are you good at this? I know. Do you know what you're doing? I can be. I just. I can't. I can't can't imagine just assuming. I have been before. So I notice I only bring girls back to my house who also live at their house. Okay. Well, (laughs) same same life stage. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. So that happened in Staten Island. They're the neighbor. (laughs) Your neighbors. (laughs) She rolled her out the window. She's from Jersey, and so. The best part is in, in the morning. There was no best part, like you said. And uh, the next morning, while I'm going, we're going to leave. My parents are also leaving at the same oh time. My God. So and I was awkward. like, you got what you wished for. <laughs> She's like, no, no, I'm staying down here. Yes. I was like, yeah, good. And then as right, my par- she had been like, I can't wait to meet your mom and dad. You're like, now's your time, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking all that <laughs> shit. And so she waited downstairs until my parents left. But as my as like I'm like, all right, my parents left. We're about to go out. My parents are stopped. My mom has to come run inside and put something away. She runs back downstairs. No. And then they see each other? Did no, she no. She it? ran back downstairs wow. behind again. This girl got her steps in. I know. It's good <laughs> for running her. from Jared's mom. She did cardio. She got a workout in the morning, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate him. This is his last episode. <laughs> All right. This is a great episode. We, uh, you know... We're going to wrap it up. Where can thanks they for, find thanks you? Thanks for coming, Ashley. Ashley. Please let us, our, Going on a- our 15 listeners know where they can find you. Hey, guys. All 15 <laughs> of you. Um, <laughs> Girls Got You podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. And I am Ash Hess, A-S-H-H-E-S-S, on Instagram and TikTok. I've been slipping on my TikTok. I've been busy. Don't worry. Even thanks. this girl last night was like, girl, you haven't posted. I'm like, oh, my God. Were you like, girl, get a grip? <laughs> no, no, I was like, girl, you're right. <laughs> You'll Thank you for that. holding me accountable. It's the holidays. Things are inspirational now. It's like things will come. Don't worry. Yeah, your, I gotta be inspired. Your digital footprint is solid. You're Thanks going, for having me, guys. Well. This was so fun. Your digital footprint stinks. <laughs> it's pretty good. I got a nice cartoon. Check them out. About to go record no! another one with my boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> you ever seen those? Actually? What about? What? I got cartoons. 
You never seen my cartoons? Like uh, you draw or you what? animations? Animations. You do animations? I, I voice. He, and write you them. know Tetris. It's like that, and then he does a voiceover over it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, look at this. Bo- look at this block go into this other block. I love how sweet and mean. She- like it's sour but sweet. Know, you know what I mean? Actually, yeah. thank you so, so much for coming go. on. Yeah, Ashley. this is great. This, please, <laughs> I get it. I want to go. <laughs> thank you. Guys. Are this you at the stand tonight? Yeah. What time? I have a patio spot at eight. Yikes. I know. No, I'm just kidding. I love the patio. I don't want to say Is it negative. cold out, though? Yeah. It's really, it's really cold. And then I have um, Ali Fish's show after. All right. I'll be there. Why are I'll we so... Later. Thank Where you for I? listening. Okay, fine. Don't talk, Jared. Thank you for coming out. <gasps> it's only, um, it's only